Okay, time for yet another video. This is about simulations that require three collections. It's going to be a type of problem we haven't been able to solve before. The three collections are going to be a source collection. In this case, we have this collection of 18 fictitious students called students, and we're going to sample from that collection, and then we're going to collect measures from the sample. So here's our problem. We got these 18 students. We got nine men and nine women, and we want to know what's the chance that if we chose a committee of four at random, that they would all be males. Let's see how to do that. Well, here in Fathom, first way you have to choose the committee of four. We're going to do that by sampling. So I go over here and I right click on the student's collection and I choose sample cases, which is something we've seen before a little bit but haven't done very much. Now here's the inspector for the sample collection. The right hand tab in the inspector is the sample and it tells us how we're sampling. So at the moment, by default, we choose 10 cases. Let's take a look at them. So I'm going to make a table, and we can see these cases. You can see their names, and I can sample more cases, replacing them. And look at this. William W. has shown up twice in this sample. We don't want that to happen, but that's possible because we've checked with replacement. That's true by default. We want to make it without replacement, so I uncheck this box. I also only want four cases, so I'm going to reduce the number of 10 to 4, and I'm going to turn off animation for all the reasons we understand. So if I click Sample More Cases, now I see I only get four, and I'm never going to have a duplicate. Of course, here I've got three males and one female. I really want to find out how many times I get four males. So to do that, I need a measure, just as we did with the two collection situation. So this is the, the inspector for the sample and I'm going to go to the second tab in the inspector, which is the measures, and create a new measure, which I'm going to call n males, n manlies, n males, and give it a formula, a familiar formula for us. It's going to be count of sex equals m, in quotes. And look, it gives us three, just like we're supposed to have. And if I resample, by the way, notice if I open up sample of students just a little bit, I get a sample more cases button. I can click that and I can see two, two, one, only one, only j'avante in this time. Or I could get more cases by going over to the sample panel where I can click sample more cases and that works too. Well, we know that we want to collect these measures numbers in order to see the distribution because we want to know the probability that we have four males. So I right click on the sample collection and I choose collect measures. This will choose five measures by default. Now we know about all of this so I'm going to turn off animation and I'm going to collect 95 more. And I'll do collect more measures and shazam it's all done and I'm going to make a table so I can see these measures. Oh look, they're numbers just as I was expecting. There's a four, so it's possible. Now we're going to make the graph, put n males on the graph, and there you see it. Out of a hundred, this time I got five. Suppose I collect another 900 measures. So I'll click collect more measures again. And it's collecting the measures. You can see it all growing. If I select all these, and now I point at the measures collection and look way down at the bottom, I see 36 out of 1,000. 3.6% of our subcommittees had all four males. So that's the probability, 3.6%, 0.036. We'll be using this technique a lot in lots of different settings, so start to get used to that and you'll see it in problems coming soon.